Hey, what is up, guys? A Vic here, back with another video in this channel, AV Pro Tech. And today we'll be doing a review of this uh, CN Engine OS 12.1, which is the latest version of Android available for the OnePlus One. And this is not a nightly anymore, it is the official build of the CN Engine OS. So, hitting on to the settings about phone, I'll be showing you this is the uh, Android 5.1.1, and it's pretty much the stable version. Well, here there are a couple bucks here and there. So the build is called 12.1 YOG for PAS1 and 0. So I'll be providing you a direct link in the description box below. You can check that out. You can, you can download uh, the zip file and flash it if you have uh, a custom recovery like me. Or if you aren't rooted, you'll be getting a direct or an OTA update when you get, just head onto the systems. Um, I can just check for the updates. I'm not getting any more because I already have it. Um, that's pretty much all about how to get this ROM. So um, then nothing else. How to you know just getting this ROM or I don't know how to flash that. So I'll be you know uh, doing a video about that. How to flash this ROM on in a couple of days, and I'll be back to you once this review has been uploaded. So that's that about how to install this. So now I'll come on to the build of this ROM. This ROM is built really well. I gotta tell you, this is one of the best built ROMs for any device. So you have material design almost everywhere, like from the scroll to everything, you have a material design and basically what I had to tell you that there is an animation for freaking everything so when you open up your music it just pops from somewhere it it isn't that it goes somewhere it does pop from somewhere so that's pretty much self-explanatory you can just check that out like if you chess uh, if you select chess yes it does come from somewhere it's not like it comes from somewhere so somewhere from the side no it just pops out from the app this time it's pretty much well built ROM again I, I would appreciate the builders thumbs up for them so that's pretty much about the build about this ROM and then I'll now be talking about a little bit of features which is available in this ROM so as you can see when I scroll from up here you can see the, uh, the transition is so smooth I couldn't expect anything more I just got myself too much uh, I became a fan of this ROM the the animations and the scroll is pretty much super smooth and I didn't expect that much at all from this ROM. I thought the nightly versions were better than this but this is one of the legit ROMs alright. So the, the transition is very smooth and you can check this out for instance. So when I tap on location it slides away. That cross slides back when I you know turn it off. So the animation everywhere just grazes me out and you can just look at this auto rotate and yeah that sucks okay the auto rotate is also pretty good you know it, it rolls it, it's impossible oh man everywhere the animation is extremely well built uh, for the Bluetooth still it comes and goes I don't know why they didn't fix that and even for the airplane mode that does pretty well so the settings bar 2 like on the Android 5.0 it does slide from the AV Protect that is the, my user and look at that the transition is super smooth and when I come about uh, when I come to talk about this uh, uh, or the notification drawer there is a lot more clicky things this time so there is a battery clicky thing there is a setting clicky thing this is my guest or user account and the, the best actually uh, uh, thing about this is you have the weather widget out here and that is clickable too so when I tap on that you get to well, Yahoo weather that's pretty much good but I don't use that pretty often because I have the AccuWeather premium that gives me updates about pretty much everything 
which I really would like to get. So there are more clicky things like alarm, the time, the date. There are a lot more things than I thought. So that's all about the mm, functions. So the Google Now transition is also pretty good. And Google have also changed their icon and their thumbnail pretty much in everything. So now they have a capital G with complete non-cursive writing. It's completely now rounded off. I don't know for what reason they did that, but they have st they have stuck on to the same colors. That's pretty much all I had to tell about this. So now I'll come about I come to the a couple of things that annoys me. First one, four stops. That's pretty much everything. So when I head on to the settings and go to the apps and go to the disabled apps, you'll see one here. Photos. Now I'll show you what it hap what it does when I just happen to open it. It crashes immediately. The only bug which I had ever no, it's kind of like I never expected a bug and suddenly you have a bug I uh, you get too annoyed. So that's one of the bugs I have that that is pretty much enough to crazy me to not use this ROM. But I, I know they'll fix it with a software update will be coming in uh, two weeks or so. So that's pretty much all about this uh, bugs and oh man that crazes me. Well that's alright because you can use this gallery which is pretty smooth and pretty good too because you know sometimes you need to do small sacrifices just like I told you in that case video. Um, now every icon of uh, the Cyanogen mod or the Cyanogen OS has changed. First one you can see this audio effects the icon has changed and the uh, camera. Camera is now impressive too so when I click on it and I'm in a dark room right now I'm in my room and it does pretty good. Yes the Cyanogen camera now does well like most of the times it does pretty well. So that's one of the camera, um, that's one of the camera, that is the camera. And now you have the feature to double tap the home to get to the camera. Again, that's pretty good. You know, any feature bonus is pretty good to health. Yep. So uh, the feature which was coming with the Google Now Launcher, that is to say, OK, Google is now completely gone. Now you need to enable it from here go to settings and go to voice and you need to enable it here okay Google detection so I don't want that because sometimes it crashes suddenly so I don't you know uh, activate it but still you can if you are really a great fan of okay Google so every icon has changed you can see the gallery icon it has changed and um, now instead of a regular phone or a regular dialer they're going with the true dialer. For what reason they did include this bloatware, I don't know. But still, you'd, you'll not be having a regular dialer from now on. You'll be having this. This is the true dialer, or, yep, it's the dialer from Truecaller. It does uh, a pretty good job of telling who is calling you from what place by checking its own directory. Well, that's fine because you know sometimes you'll be needing it but sometimes you would think that oh lollipop delivered was pretty good than this well sometimes uh, some other times you can just tap in like my friend's name I can his name is CSK well you can type in two seven and five to get his name right there so that's pretty much self-explanatory and the true dialer is cannot replace the Android dialer. That's pretty much what I can tell you. So, um, nothing more to tell about this ROM. This is a pretty good ROM. Again, if you want, I'll be giving a direct link in the description box. If you don't get the OTA, well, if you did get the OTA but you don't have the uh, the stock recovery, you cannot flash it. So I'll be giving you a direct link. If you want you can just check that out it's not really bad 
you can check it out it's from build prop cyanogen well that's pretty much all about this video guys if you did like it please hit that like button and if you didn't uh, please hit that unlike button and please tell me why in the comment section below why did you dislike this so your comments do help me out pretty much and I'll reply for everything whatever you give me in the comment section so thank you guys so much for watching this video again please watch my videos all my videos and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these again thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the pretty much next one till then peace out